Hi guys, Lord Mangodai here, and I'm back with a continuation of my playthrough of The Successor. Uh, I'm on fast speed still, let me fix that just a second. Uh, now unfortunately, I am playing this for the second time because something happened that made me pretty tilted to borrow a bit of Viper's vocabulary. Uh, I recorded about 50 minutes of gameplay for the next video, and then it turned out that my screen capture program, for some reason, only recorded the first two of those minutes. I don't know if I accidentally brushed my hotkey to start and stop recording or whatnot. Uh, anyway, I, whatever. I didn't have the footage, so I'm gonna have to play this again. And because I had messed, because I had saved so many times and gotten rid of my old save state, I had to actually start the entire scenario over again and play up until this point, which is why you might notice that I have a bit more army than I did at the end of the last video. So I guess that's a bit of a silver lining, actually, because I was able to use my uh, experience in the first part to do a bit better than I did the first time around. Yep, so here we are, and hopefully nothing goes awry this time. I was so happy that the frame rate was better, too. Of course it was, because I had accidentally turned off my screen capture program again. Uh, it's not great right now, but as long as it stays not great, I have nothing to fear. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. So last time we we had that fight against the Fenarian army with the war elephants and the paladins and stuff, and now we're gonna go go around the land and find as many recruits for our army as we possibly can. Now we have these uh these white fangs here, the wolves which we're told, I was told will die pretty soon because they can't survive outside the swamp for, for very long. So we're going to use those to do most of our fighting, of course. Yeah, of course I've played all this already, so I know I know where everything is now. So there's not going to be no, there's not going to be any element of surprise. So I know down here there's a group of soldiers who who will say that they want to join me and then stab me in the back. Let's get it over with, guys. Let's get it over with. I could cheap. I could cheaply attack them. Hello there, you seem like a brave bunch of Ravanian soldiers, so are you with me or against me? We'll join you, of course, they say. Of course we are with the successor. Wait until he gets close enough. And attack. Kill him! Leave my archers alone. Yeah, these guys stabbed me in the back. I want to do as much damage with my white fangs as I possibly can before the uh, timer runs out and they die. Because basically I get uh, any shots I take against them is free damage, because I lose them no matter what. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, the frame rate's not much better, so it's what I expected. I was so happy how well it was running last time. Little did I know. Alright, now up here there's like this outlaw guy who they will, who, who I have to go talk to, but, but up ahead there's also some Fenarian patrols, so I'm just going to send the White Fangs in to do as much damage as they can first. So as to not waste time, the little limited time that I have with these guys. Their line of sight is really bad, but I guess wolves wouldn't have the best vision. Come on guys, where are you? I'm sorry, this is kind of lame because I know it, because I'm calling all the shots in advance, but yeah. What can I do? <laughs> 
halberdiers are really doing a number on my white fangs. All right. Well, that's that's that taken care of. The white fangs are gone. Would have died anyway, so I don't feel I don't feel like I've wasted my units or anything. Where they gone? This shouldn't be too much of a problem. They're all pre-damaged. This paladin's almost dead. Just mow them all down. Jesus, God. This is not going very well, actually. What the heck? Ah, uh, not in the plan, guys. And of course they have ballistics, so he hits me. Why are they aggroing to him so badly? Leave me alone. Are they leaving him alone? So annoying. Here they come. There we go. Oh, well, he's... Yeah, our white fangs have died, yes. He notices a bit late, but... Oh, well. All right, so now we've taken care of that first wave of Fenarians. We can go up here and talk to that outlaw guy that was just mentioned in the dialogue. Well, I'd rather have Tehran get down to 1 HP than have any of our non-healing soldiers take a scratch, if you know what I mean. Let's go! Well, well, what have we here? If it isn't the successor's little so-called army, is the one they call Kral among you? If so, let him come to the light of the fire so we can see him clearly. Alright. Indeed, this is the only man in Ravenia that has a bigger bounty on his head than us. Look, Panfi, it's really him. Panfi and Ollie. Ooh, Ollie's a, a Charles Martel. The only unit in the game who's as good as axe-slinging as Harald Herrada. Grrrr! <laughs> this is nice, gives Tehran a chance to heal up to a reasonable level. Pardon my friend Panfi Sir Kral, he isn't good at making new friends. But he makes up for his social awkwardness in the heat of battle. He's saved my life more than once. That's good to know. By the way, my name is Ollie. Me and Panfi here have been living in the wild, killing random Fenarian soldiers for quite some time now. Will you join us? These two have pretty good stats, I have to say. And men-at-arms with uh, decent stats. Uh, okay, Ollie and Panfi, let's cut to the chase. I have precious little time. I've heard of you, and I know what you can do. Will you join me or not? Come on, join me. Or give me a quest or something. Would that we could, my prince, but you know how the old saying goes. It's hard to do battle on an empty stomach. Tell you what, me and Panfi here happen to be great fans of roast turkey. <laughs> so we have to probably bring them a turkey. I can see where this is going. I'm going to bring you a turkey. <laughs> Kral is not, is not playing his first custom scenario, I see. He knows how these things go. If you manage that, we will know that you are worth our time. It won't be so easy. Turkeys have been extinct in this country for years. Good luck with that, Prince. Well, thanks for the impossible task. Where are we going to find a turkey? Guess we should ask around. The old burning farm campfire trick again. Mmm, panfy hungry, raw turkey, Hulk smash. Sure hope these idiots will be worth my time. Me too, Kral, me too. But 
let's save and let's save successor episode two. That way, if something bad happens, I still have the old save state and don't have to restart the game again. All right, let's move onwards. Let's kill some units to, to free up the frame rate here. Paul. Hmm. There's probably some other Fenarian patrols. We're getting very close to Kron. We should avoid it. There are lots of Fenarian patrols. Yes, we've already run into a fair amount of them. Oh, here they come. Get out of there. We don't need... Don't need halberdiers attacking. Of course, all three halberdiers immediately target my knight. Because why wouldn't they? Look, they're going for crawl. Just going for the mounted units. Nah, the knights weren't that useful anyway. Too much of a liability. They have so many halberdiers. As long as I still have the... I would usually scout ahead with Tehran, but he's so damaged right now. To be careful not to attack any of these neutral farms or villages. Villagers. Nice little farmland here. Hmm. This is one, I think here, yeah, here's one of our, our first... Uh, sites that we have to go to to pick up some new recruits so let's see what they have to say see what they want in return for their for their loyalty probably have to bring all of our heroes there crawl Hockey 4 is not signed right now. Mohan, we need him too. Is he stuck? Where is he? What the heck? Oh my god, he's way over here. What a pain. <laughs> How did I leave him behind like that? Oh, I have to wait a long time for him to arrive before we know what we're doing here. Hello? Scout around a bit more. Maybe find, maybe bait a few more Fenarian troops into our army. Now the frame rate has not gotten much better, even though I did mess around with the settings of my capture program a bit. I'll have to see how how we can work around that. Man, it just doesn't seem fair that a game from 1999 or 2000, if you want to include the, the Conquerors is running this badly on my laptop, which is, you know, not the best, but still. A 20-year-old game should be able to run it. Yeah, we've got a few halberdiers here. Here he comes. We were able to keep ourselves occupied, I guess, for a period of time. Now, what do they want us to do? In return for their men. Although I don't see any men, but there's a barracks here, we're able to come out of there. Get a move on, Teutonic Knights. This is what you get when you skip leg day. Come on. Oh, need crawl down here, of course. The big three here. Prince Kral, finally, we were expecting you. Everybody in Donaria is talking about your heroic battles against the Fenarians. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much. I try. I try my best. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm great, but praises are not what I'm here for. Are you sure about that? I need men for my army. Fast. 
I am terribly sorry, my prince, but it seems like the Fenarians anticipated your plans. They came a few hours ago and took all the men capable of fighting as hostages. Well, isn't that a pain? Those pesky towelheads. And where did they take them? Towelheads. They've set up their camp a little further to the east. I think they plan to take our Donarian brothers to Fenar and sell them as slaves. Not if I have something to say about it. Time to kick some Fenarian ass. What have we been doing this whole time? All right, let's scout ahead and see what we're dealing with here. My lord, the Fenarians have taken this road to the east. There they are. All right, one halberdier. Although he's just a guard, I guess. There's lo oh, wow. So lots of them and they're well equipped. It will be tricky. Wow, I don't know if I can take that with my elite mamelukes. Elephants, though. I mean, it's one thing when I had the white fangs, but... Perhaps the best way to fight them is to lure them out of the camp. And then what, genius? They're stronger than us, even in the open. They're still stronger than us in the open. Yes, but don't forget, I'm one of the best archers in Ravenia, and that hill over there gives me an idea. I just need a good spot and protection. An idea? Wow, Taran, you don't get those every day. Okay, do your thing. Let's see if you can still use that bow like you used to in the day. Destroying that outpost might be useful in luring them out of the camp. Alright, so if he goes up on this hill... I've played this before, so spoilers. Taran is currently in sniper mode, plus 250 attack. Watch this. Outpost goes down in two hits. Bam! If that's not OP, I don't know what is. What's that noise? Alright, so we're gonna use Tehran in sniper mode to single-handedly wipe out this entire Fenarian encampment. But he's only in sniper mode when he's in this on this hill, so I just have to lure everyone out, kind of. One hit kill. One hit KO. I know Mamluk can still do decent damage to me, but. Not if I can one if I can one hit them, then it doesn't really matter. Just slaughter them, slaughter them as they come, one at a time. Here comes an elephant. I'll have to take two shit shots to get him. What a pain. Turn on sniper mode is off. Then he's back to regular old boring Subotai with twelve attack. But all I have to do is, you bait everyone into my, into my safe space here, and then. Two shots is all it took. Take it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Two shots is all it takes. It's just going to take a while before I can lure them all out. So many of them. This is a bit of a grind. Come on, everyone. Don't need to take free hits from an, from these halberdiers. This hit and run was a bit easier when the frame rate was better. <laughs> Follow me. And OP mode activate. Take them down. Any more here? Nope. Gotta rustle them out a few at a time. Another five or six after me. These Mamelukes are a bit dangerous. Man, imagine if I had to do this without this OP sniper mode. It would be really difficult with the elephants, because I have, like, nothing that it can do well against elephants. I could hit and run them all day long with Tehran, but uh, I think I'd die of old age before I beat them all. Multi-kill. What's going on? Come on. Oh, what? How did that miss? All right, there we go. Just a few elephants left. Oh, wait. 
This one here. Didn't notice him. Elephants are always a bit lag behind because they're so slow. There we go. Crawl just stands there watching in awe as I mow down these guys one at a time. Maybe I can bait them just by attacking the... Right, let's see if I can't aggro all of them now. All of you! After me. There we go. Ooh, that was a bit dangerous. Ooh! Really quite dangerous, actually. Shouldn't be so gung-ho. But I'm getting tired of this. I've done it tw twice already. Ooh. Don't need to... T Mameluke. Ooh! He missed me. Sniper mode, engage. Accuracy mode has not been engaged. Bring them all down. I don't know if, how long, it, how much I have to depopulate the map before I notice my frame rate going back to normal, but I mean it dropped in a couple spots even on the Ulio maps, and those are only a couple hundred population at most. So, I don't know what to tell you guys. Don't know how much better it'll get. Ow! Don't hit me. Tron's doing all the leg work. Might even take this guy down the traditional way. Might being the operative word. The elephants are so reluctant. I mean, I don't blame them, I guess, but who would want to mess with this? 250 attack? No, thank you. Go. I always feel kind of bad for elephants in Age of Empires. I don't know why. I mean, it's like all these human soldiers are getting mowed down left and right, but for some reason when the elephants die, it, it hurts me a little on the inside. Maybe, I mean, they they probably don't have any, they don't care about these wars that we humans fight. They're, they have no, they have no dog in this fight at all. They're just being forced to, into war by the cruel Fenarians and Persians. <laughs> it's not their fault. I think these are the last two, right? No, there's more? What a pain. I hope I don't have to take down this tower. One elephant. And a couple mamluks. Oh, let's run. Mamluks are packing quite a punch, unfortunately. Uh, I just realized I forgot. There's actually a group of soldiers over here that will join you, so I'm just going to send Kral to do that while, while Tehran has his fun. Forgot to do that this time around. Might as well multitask, since this takes a while to do. It's a fun mechanic, but it gets a little tedious after a while, especially since you have to go and like manually lure every unit. Oh, careful. Right. Mamelukes are the re are really the only units I have to be wary of because they're fast, they have range, and they have a bonus against me. Me being a cavalry archer and all. Alright, where's the. There's one more Mameluke, and. There was an elephant, which I also have to get. Okay. 
There we go. Now where's the elephant? There he is. So reluctant, unfortunately. It's a shame Tehran can't activate this mode in regular combat. It would be useful to have someone with three, 250 attack, but obviously that would be broken. Here we go. Kral found his soldiers. Ooh. Didn't notice that. Some halberds here is here. Well, these men at arms can take him out without a problem. Shouldn't let the halberd ears get an uphill advantage on me. They have decent stats. They have 6 plus 5. Stats more like a 200 swordsman than a. Oh! My freaking lord! This is what I get for multitasking. Come on. That was close. And he's gone. Is that not the last one? It was not the last one. Otherwise, I would have something would have happened. I think. Can I go through here just with these guys? Should I, should I not have run all the way around? Or is there some sort of blockage here? Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, there's some rocks in the way. Very well. Got a few more for my army. That's nice. Nothing here. Let's go here, guys. It's probably there's like one halberd here stuck in the fog of war here somewhere that I have to smoke out. Wish they would be a bit more aggressive and just all charge out once they once they spot me. Doesn't work that way, unfortunately. This tower chips away at me, which is a little annoying. An elephant! A Mameluke! Flee! For your life! Dang, this tower with ballistics hurts me a bit more than I like. Yeah, 30 HP. <laughs> I don't know how many hits from a Mameluke I can survive with 30 HP, maybe two? Definitely, probably not three, I don't think. Not with the bonus. Did he stop? Mamelukes have such small line of sight, they get unaggressive really easily. This was felt like it went a lot faster last time because the frame rate was like normal. God, these elephants! Come on! I'm sorry, this is probably really tedious for you guys to watch, but... <sighs> I think this is the last guy. And then hopefully we'll be through with this... With this cool, but very long-winded task. Frame rate feels a bit better now. It gets a lot worse when I'm up here. It's interesting. I'm not sure what the what determines. Yeah. Take him out. Come on. Please tell me that was the last one. Ah, thank God. Accessories rescue us. We're free. All this for eight villagers. Although they'll turn into something more useful, hopefully, once I get. Let's break out of here. Is this tower going to be a danger? Oh, it's it's uh, allied to us. Oh, maybe we can take actually advantage of that. Let's uh, let's take our five most damaged units. Maybe get a bit of healing done. Probably not too much, but. Freedom! Who else is hurt here? Uh, him. Him. I actually don't have too many too badly hurt units, which is nice for a change. <laughs> He's hurt, but he'll slowly heal up. Alright, they're free. What does it say? 
Bring all the villagers close to the village, bar village barracks to get them equipped. Okay. Go here, guys. I don't know how much healing we're actually going to get done on them. Really, it's Tehran who needs the healing. Yeah, it gets really slow in this little area. I don't know if it's because of the triggers that are that like determine Tehran's like super mode. I don't know if that contributes to it or what. Ah, ah. I've given up trying to figure it out. I do want to do a bit of scouting. Maybe I'll use Crawl, but Crawl has no range, so I can't do any like hit and run, unfortunately. Tehran is too damaged for me to feel really feel safe scouting with him. I think there were a few more guys over here that would join me, but as soon as I go there, like, I get attacked by a Fenarian scout, um, patrol, so I don't get to keep them. They just immediately fight the Fenarians and die. It's mostly a bunch of pretty weak units anyway, like regular archers with no, no buffed stats and stuff like that. Ooh. Ooh. Let's prepare for this. I have all four of my Ravenian elite guards, which is actually quite nice. I, but last time I think I only managed to keep like two of them. No, stop attacking the neutral buildings, please. Probably gonna lose a lot of men at arms here, but. Ooh, look at all these. Alright, make yourselves useful. I'm gonna lose one of my elite guards there. Get crawl out of there. Come on. Ah, uh, slow motion fights here. Down to two Ravenian elite guards. But that was a... That patrol packed a bit of a punch, so... I think I'm... I'm happy with this. Alright, did some healing. It's too slow. Let's get, get over here. A few more men at arms to replace the ones I just lost. And they're not very good. Let's see if I can't draw out a few more. It's nice to have a few extra archers as well. Crossbowmen. Even if, yeah, crossbowmen, not the best, but it helps add a bit of firepower to the back of my army. Right, this is our next spot where we are uh, to gather recruits. So maybe we should just make sure the area between the here and there is safe and go straight there instead of scouting around for patrols like I'm doing right now. Those Mamelukes, man. Oh, oh, oh. No, don't attack the deer. That's not helpful, actually. Ah, their arbalests, I are just, I'm just so outclassed by their arbs. I don't know. Not sure what to do about them. Hey, look. It runs pretty smoothly here, and then as soon as I get here, it gets really choppy. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the factors are. They've moved on the patrol. Oh. Leave the deer alone. There. Shoot. I don't have any mounted units or skirmishers or anything really that's suitable for halberd uh, arbalest, except for crawl. Uh, 
That's one less. Yeah, Kral get in there, do some damage. Oh, what the? That's a waste. I only have two of those crossbows left. I didn't notice that. They flanked me. And got like two kills in without me paying any good, good close attention. All right, move on, guys. Move on. Fenarians are down under 10,000 score. They started out the game with about 12,000, so we're whittling them down slowly but surely. What's here? There's nothing here. Oh, never mind. There's a city here. But why is the flag like outside the city, I wonder? I'm acting like I don't know, but I've already played this once, so. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what's gonna happen. I already know. I just want to tell you guys. I want you to be able to see for yourselves. I feel dumb. All right, let's bring. Actually, let's uh, let's save here in case something bad happens. Uh, where is this guy? Actually, I do remember what happens. I uh. Missionary comes out and talks to us, and last time he wasted all his healing on Tehran, but uh, Tehran can heal himself, so I'm just going to make sure that these are the first thing he sees so he can give us some free healing, because that would be quite useful to us. We are at the gates of the city of Gyan. It is now under Fenarian control, but I have friends inside, and I have announced them of our arrival. We should wait now. Yep, here he comes. Oh, wait a second. Go away. Paladins, go away. Please don't attack us now. <laughs> go away. All right. Hello, my friends. We were expecting you. If the Fenarians knew I was here, they would kill me on the spot. There they are. They're not killing you on the spot, so I call bullshit. Never mind. Give me all the free healing. Cut to the chase, Mayor. I ain't got all day. Tell me about the situation in the city and how you can help me drive the Fenarian scum out. Very well. You see, there are Fenarian patrols on all streets of the city, but as long as you take them by surprise, move fast, and don't allow them to regroup, you stand a chance against them. That's good. Good to know. A chance is better than nothing at all. The hardest part will be to get rid of their leader, General Kamar. He is located within the heavily fortified Gyan Castle and has good bodyguards. Maybe the townspeople can help you find a way to enter the city. Ooh, he's a Genghis Khan. 25 attack, that's scary. Pretty scary. Supertai can't take him down. I wonder how they got the Persian Wonder to belong to the Celt player. Uh, Ravenian soldiers in Gyan will have the courage to join you only after Kamara's dead, but hurry up. If you don't do that in time, he will send for reinforcements, and then everything is lost. Men at arms, crossbowmen with 85 and plus 5 attack. Knights with plus 5 attack. Yeah, this is a. This looks like a nice force to get. Heal me. I'll warn you when you run out of time. Good luck now. I'll leave the main gate open for you. Okay. Did he get a lot of healing in? I hope he got a fair amount in. There's a crossbow who still isn't fully healed, but... Every little bit helps. Save point. And we get our music back. Alright. Let's save. And I think I'm going to wrap up this episode here, guys, because uh, it's, been, it's been a while, and this looks like a pretty big 
task that lies in front of us, so I think I'll hold that one off for the next episode. Um, I'll go to the achievements screen so you guys can can keep track if you're interested. 171 to 70 is our KD at the moment. And you can see here, this is, I think, where um, we had Tehran on the hill, and he was slowly whittling down the contents of that one camp. Alright, well, thanks for watching, as guys, as always, and I'll be back real soon with the third episode. Hopefully, this one has recorded properly. If not, I'm going to have to play it a third time. And, yep, thanks for watching, as always, guys. Bye!